Well, now to a News Nation exclusive. Like so many during the early days of the pandemic, first responders kept showing up, working long hours, even as their friends and loved ones got sick or even died. Chicago Detective Sergeant Joaquin Mendoza was on the force for 22 years. He said when the pandemic hit, his city needed him. He caught COVID on the job and spent more than two months in the hospital, suffering five strokes. He survived, but said that he didn't see another fight coming, this time over duty disability benefits and health coverage. As our investigation finds, he is not alone. Did you always know that you wanted to be a police officer? Yes. Yes, since I was, uh, since I was little. For Detective Sergeant Joaquin Mendoza, the dream started when an officer came to speak at school. When I got home that day, first thing my mom asked is like, hey, so what do you want to be uh, uh, when you grow up for career? I'm like, well, I want to be a big Irish cop. And uh, my mom was, well, the Irish part ain't happening because, you know, your dad and I are Mexican. Our dad, Joaquin, and our mom, Susanna. Look how glamorous they are. Yeah study hard and you do well in school and uh, you're a good kid, then maybe you'll get the chance to be a police officer. So I looked out and getting the, the, my dream job. As a Chicago police detective sergeant for 22 years, he worked on some of the grisliest crimes. These two offenders are somebody from this neighborhood. I'm very glad of all the people I put behind bars. Helping to solve the murder of Leticia Barrera, a pregnant mother who was shot and killed in front of her house on Halloween day while holding her little girl's hand. If I only did one thing in my entire life was to put this guy in a joint, that made my entire career, getting, it, uh, getting the hugs from, uh, from that little girl. Then the pandemic hit. Take a break. And as a first responder, at the end of a 17-day stretch and a 16-hour day, he wasn't feeling well and took a nap. I thought I'd only slept for a couple hours. He slept for 48 hours straight. He was rushed to the hospital where he waged a war with COVID for 72 days. Multiple strokes, loss of function in both kidneys and his left arm. How many strokes did you suffer? Uh, five. Uh, a bunch of my, uh, you know, partners ended up passing away from it. Forever changed. Dialysis three times a week, neurological issues, a shortened life expectancy. He no longer lives independently. When he went before the city's police disability board, they ruled he did not qualify for line of duty disability benefits because he could not prove the precise moment when or how he contracted the virus, even though he had worked a 17 day stretch and had been nowhere else except home alone. A no ruling also meant no health care coverage. What did you feel? What, what Panic. Was Panic. I mean, it's basically crippling. Detective Sergeant Mendoza says another Chicago officer who was denied ended his life. I was going through the checklist of what's going to keep me from eating my gun. From eating your gun? Yeah, oh, completely. And I knew I had my sister, my mom, my nephew, my immediate family, my partners as I'm going by checklist, 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 checklist. Those are the things that kept me from killing myself. Here in Chicago, a fight started to unfold based on the fine print. Could an officer prove that they got COVID while on the job? And now it seems a similar fight may be unfolding in New York. 800 miles away, Officer Omaira Feliciano served with the NYPD for 17 and a half years. She worked in the Special Victims Unit and during the pandemic was tasked with coming face to face with 40 to 50 sex offenders a day until she fell ill. I remember very clearly to this day um, when, you know, I was, I was sick. I was just, just coughing on my lungs up at the time. It was like between day six and seven is where a lot of people were really taking a turn for the worst. And, dying and I remember when I was approaching that day I was scared to death I was scared to death I said I'll know this weekend if I'm gonna die or not that's pretty much what I was thinking 
She got the vaccine within four days of it becoming available to officers, but says she didn't know the virus was likely already in her body. She was diagnosed with COVID-19 pneumonia, followed by unrelenting body pain, deep fatigue, and the onset of an autoimmune disease. Just recently, Officer Feliciano was similarly denied duty disability. It's a disgusting thing to do to a first responder who's put themselves on the line this way. It's not right, it's not fair. And it's one of the reasons why the NYPD can't keep its enrollment numbers up. Along with her lawyer, she's fighting, hoping to get the ruling in front of a judge. And she already has a victory to look to in Chicago, where Detective Sergeant Mendoza's sister, a city comptroller, took up her brother's fight. Seem like he's your Superman, and then see all the struggles that he goes through on a daily basis, it's super emotional. She helped push through a change to Illinois legislation. When you see a problem, you have to fix it. And if no one's gonna fix it for me, then I'm gonna fix it myself. To make sure no first responder in Chicago would experience what her brother went through. It passed unanimously and bipartisanly 54 to zero, and just maybe can be a framework for other states. My brother said, if it had to happen to me so that none of my guys have to go through this, then I'd have it happen to me all over again. But that tells you who my brother is. The love that he has for his profession, they're willing to die for people they've never even met. I'm, I'm the older brother, you know, so I always want to be protective of her. And, you know, I, I, I tell you, as messed up as it was that I got COVID as bad as I did, I don't regret a second of it happening. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Yeah. And now in Illinois, disabled officers who were working during the pandemic before vaccines and got sick have the benefit of the doubt that they were infected while on the job. The question is, could this law be a framework for other states? Well, Comptroller Susana Mendoza says that she wants to help Officer Feliciano with her fight in New York. We will keep tracking this story. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.